Welcome back to Biafra New Support Biafra Da Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depending on where you're watching me from, Biafra friends, lovers of freedom, people of goodwill, I bring you another news. Biafra Prime Minister sends a strong message to President of Ohane Zendoshin and Diama Iwanyawo. And the message, uh, part of the message reads, whoever has access to Emmanuel Iwanyawo, he should be closely reminded that Biafra has one legitimate government and the Simon Epa is the Prime Minister. You don't need to miss uh, any line from this very update. You don't, miss, you don't need to miss this very update. So before I continue, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, please kindly click the red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, it enable you get notification once I upload a new video. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comment at the comment section, and please tune in once you get notification. So from Prime Minister said uh, posted this on his official Twitter handle, as you can see on the screen, because uh, the flavors in Biafra land that calls yourself uh, elders are nothing but uh, Fulani around boys in Biafra land. They are killing their, selling their people, selling themselves out, not us. To kill their people. Look at those working for the Fulanese. Look how their people are being treated. Look at how their people are being treated. They use money to buy these flavor foods, not only in Biafra land. Many tribes in that zoo, they are buying their elders, their politicians, so that they will be able to penetrate their people and they kill as many as they can, better or better still take over their land. But these flavors don't really know what is going on. They are using your money to buy you. And you are kicking against your people's freedom. Well, here is the news. Biafran Prime Minister, as he posted, he said, what, whoever that has access to Emmanuel Iwanyamu, he should be closely reminded that Biafra has one legitimate government and the ceremony is the Prime Minister and the Chief of Army Force. Any organization, institution or syndicate that does not submit to Biafra government in exile is considered a terrorist organization. Iwanya will have listened to your concerns about the Federal Executive Council and the federal character, uh, character of uh, synthetic uh, property in Nigeria. And I am here to inform you that it's too late for you and your gangsters. Someone should remind you once again that Biafra, that British fraudulent amalgamation contract expired nine years ago. Therefore, Nigeria is uh, absolute what you saw. What you saw in Finland last weekend is not a political friction. Very soon, the Biafra, Republic, the Biafra Prime Minister Ineza will officially prohibit Ohaneze in Biafra. The organization does not represent Biafrans. Ohaneze is one of the arm of the Nigerian political hooligans. Otaburo na Adiburoja. Adiburoja, arms is better than Ohaneze. Okay? Mass is better than Ohaneze. Okay. Hmm. All right. Biafra Prime Minister posted these on his official Twitter handle. And from all you, you, you saw here, from all I read, or from all you can see on the screen, there is no lie in what Biafra Prime Minister said. These flay fools don't represent us. They are only working for their Fulani masters. You see them running to Abuja. Begging their flu and kneeling down, begging their... Take a look at this picture. Look at those. Some of you say, oh, respect your elders. Look at the way they are sitting like in the house. Let's do the work and the flu and the flu and the flu. But then the flu and the flu and the flu and the flu and the flu. All those flu and the wearing red caps sitting on the floor. These are elders some of you want us to, to, to respect. Elders that doesn't respect themselves. You people want us to respect them. I don't understand. Look at these elders. Look at these elders in Biafra land. Would they sit like this? But they will go to Abuja, sit here down, Kalamajiri, that have no, that have no place to go. I've been looking at this. I've been looking at this picture since. I've been looking at it, and I've been asking myself, who are those senseless flavors that always say, "Oh, respect your elders, respect your elders." You respect elders that respect themselves. Any elder that doesn't, that doesn't find it uh, 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 necessary to go to Abuja, kneel down for the Fulanese, sit down like our Fulanese, just to please them. Those elders know their what. Not these flavors running to Abuja, doing everything, doing everything within their power to sell out their, their land to the Fulanese or their people to the Fulanese. Without minding the consequences. They don't care. So the flavors, we are from Prime Minister, and in other words, he's telling us that very soon he will... <laughs> You prescribe a uh, Ohanese. I wouldn't know prescribe or uh, prescribe the horn already because they need to prescribe. Uh, those flavors don't represent us. Both Eastern governors, Eastern politicians, they don't represent us. We have given them vote of enough confidence. 
They whatever they are doing, they don't represent us. Fulani Tari jihadists think they are wise. In history, Fulani Tari Fulani jihadists have not won any war. They use the criminals, uh, criminals, indigenous people against the people. They use Hausa people to make them kill their parents and their warriors. Today, Hausa is gone. They use money and the Afonjas to keep some tribes where, where they are. Today, they use Ohanese and Doshin and Diama to kill their own people. But the end of Flanitaris Caliphate has come in this new generation of Biafrans, where Mazenam is our Mazenam Khan is our savior. And our PM, Mazen Simon Epa, is our Prime Minister. And over 70 million have come to know the game of Fulani Tariq Jihadis and the British government. The amalgamation has expired, but the flavors we have in Biafra land don't want to accept it. Those they are claiming one Nigeria with no, they are aware that the zoo have expired, but they keep buying these flavors, keep giving them, buying them with their own money. For them to keep speaking with, the, with both sides of their mouth. The amalgamation has expired. I remember when Good Luck Jonathan talked about uh, restructuring. They walked out on uh, 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 him. 2014. That was when that amalgamation expired. Can anyone correct me if I'm wrong? How many years have it been now since the amalgamation expired? Is it not nine years going to ten years? Yes. You see the flavor sitting on the floor. Their masters are sitting on chair while the Ohaneses are sitting on the floor. In the words of Biafran Prime Minister, Aruman. This is their disgrace. And some of you will say, respect your elders, respect your elders. And I have been asking, those of you shouting at the comment section, respect your elders. Some of you don't respect, all of you, not even some, all of you ranting, respect your elders. Don't respect even your uncles. Talk more of your parents. Don't respect your, your uncles. But you'll be here shouting, respect your elders. You respect elders that will go to Abuja or go to any state in the north and they sit on the floor. And they are full animal stars who sit on the chair. They will be sitting on the floor. And you call them elders. Elders that don't speak for their people. Elders that don't condemn the unnecessary and provoke killings of their people. Elders that are ready to sell out their land to please the Fulanese. Do, you, do, do some of you even know the plan of the Fulanese? Do you know that the Fulanese believe that they have conquered every other part of Dazu except uh, Southeast? Are you people aware? Are you people aware that the Fulanese believe that every other people in Nigeria are sleeping except the Bos, except Biafrans? That is why they are doing everything within their power to overrun Biafra. And we we'll keep resisting them. And we we'll resist and flush them out of our land because Biafra land belongs to us. Every other people have been captured by the Fulanese. I'm telling you the honest truth. I'm telling you the honest truth. Every other people are sleeping in Nigeria except Biafrans. And that is what their master pretend told them. Capture every other place. Or they told them to come and capture Southeast first before capturing any other place. But they didn't do that. That is how Elohim always do his thing. Now, let me read some comment for you. Let me read some comment for you. Somebody said, not as pets in Imbo land, all these politicians, Igwe, your shame. You, you are a disgrace to our culture. And this person said, this picture irritates me. What nonsense is this? This is no Igbo culture. We don't sit on the floor to discuss serious issues. Are you hearing it? Because let's start knowing how much would uh, passport and visa fee be when, uh, travel, when traveling, be a land and process of uh, nationalization. Okay. This is quite shameful. Aaron, this picture makes me sick. How can the so-called Eze sit on the ground because, foreign Fulani, because, for, because of foreign Fulani man? Very big shameful. Yes, it is. Very sad indeed. Another person says, see elders sitting on ground for the foreigner Fulani. On serials and the silly coward elders. Fatally and the weak and yet betrayers and the deniers of the people. May they be rewarded mightily. Okay. May they be rewarded. They will because they will be on Ezra. These criminals are not what showing their pictures. It's God Elohim that will punish them. Okay. This very picture we are talking about. I know some of you haven't seen it. I know some of you haven't seen it. How can those that call yourself easy sit on the floor for Fulanese? And some of you will say respect them. Well, I, I, 
we don't know them. They don't represent us. We have given them vote of no confidence. And then they have been proscribed. The way they connive with the oppressors to proscribe IPOB just to please the Fulanese. We have proscribed them. They don't, they don't represent us. We don't know them. Because uh, very soon they will be on Ezra. So that is it, dear friends. I will stop here. The earlier you know this truth, the better for you. Our Prime Minister have spoken. On Haneza and Iwanyan are political beggars who doesn't have any remorse of their shameful act. They neither represent Igbo nor her culture. They are selfish and a self-centered organization who can do anything for money, even against the people they claim to be representing. The organization did do not, does not represent Biafrans. Ohaneze is one of the arms of Nigerian political hooligans. Otu Aburu, Nadi Buroja. What is written is absolutely correct. Ohaneze is anti Biafra and should not in any way do for us. Hmm? I think it's time to take care of these people because they are our number one problem in Biafra land. They are. So that is it, Biafrans. Ohaneze should be proscribed. Of course, they have been proscribed already. Hmm? And their proscription used as a basis to give them the same treatment they melted on, on or out to Biafrans. Biafran youth in the various modules operations. They use the mini three to carry out, proscribe them and anything they get. Hmm? Prescribe whilst they prescribed, they must enjoy. It is not business as usual. Things don't change you. Things have changed. Who have ear? Hear what spirit is saying through our prime minister. It's very clear. I only believe in Biafra government, not an uh, absolute uh, company that allies to Bia that aligns to Biafra. Biafra is called Zoo. Biafra is our identity. No this and no peace. Biafrans never voted for these or Hanese people, so they don't represent the Igbos or Biafrans, let alone the Biafrans. They don't represent Igbos, let alone the Biafrans. How can the same people be both Oha and the Yeze? They are only Yezes. <laughs> uh, they don't know what is coming. They don't know what is coming. They are aware that their amalgamation have expired. But they still don't want to talk. They want Nigeria to remain one. Ask these flippers, why are they dragging for Nigeria to remain one? What exactly is in your land that makes you want Nigeria to remain one by all means? Or that is making you want to sell your land or give out your land to the Fulanese? They can't tell you. It's their selfish gain and the interest, their political ambition. That is all they care about. You see greedy politicians or greedy on Hanez and Doshin and Diamma sitting down on the floor. Politicians will be kneeling down for Fulanese. On Hanez and Doshin will be sitting down on the floor. Why Fulanese sit on the chair? Is that not a disgrace? You know, why So that is it, dear friends. I'll stop here. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comment at the comment section as it sits now. Be from Prime Minister have proscribed on Hanez and Doshin and Diamma because they don't represent us. They are our number one problem in Biafra land. And very soon, they will be on Ezra. Thank you all. God bless our PM, our gallant men and genuine beer friends all over the world. Our supreme leader, you say? You say? You say? Thank you all. <laughs>